Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my finished 19 products in 2019. I have a lot to update you guys on. I have some declutters, I have some empties and I have some really nice progress if I would say so myself. I just don't want to ramble on too much because I really don't know what to say anymore in these projects because I really just, I'm, I'm just really really excited about it and I don't want to say excited 10 times in the uh, intro so Let's just get on with some empties and declutters. Let's take the declutters first so we get that out of the way. The first one I'm going to declutter is this perfume and I, I'm just... Nope. I got it as a gift and I'm so sorry dad and stepmom. I enjoyed it a little bit in the beginning but now it just, it's, not, it's not lasting, it's not the best. I, I don't like it so I'm not going to waste my time anymore so that is just going. I don't think I mentioned it in my April empties, but then it will be in my May empties. So I'm just not going to force myself. I have so many nice perfumes that I bought myself, or I actually got because I asked for it. The next two products you saw in my April empties video, and the first one is my mask from Placier. It is the Clear Up Face Mask. This broke me out. I have had it in a project last year and I reached that point and it was still fine. I didn't break out or anything. I have not broken out until this month or April and uh, that's why I am going to toss it because it is expired I think. Because again it has been fine up till now and I opened it in like December of 17. So and it says 12 months, so it makes sense. So I am counting as this as used up because it's basically used up. I need to squeeze it out. Then we have this primer that uh, apparently have broken me out for <laughs> a few months now. I'm, st I'm so stupid. I can't believe I didn't think it was this one. I, I have switched out so many products in my skincare, so I knew it wasn't that. I just didn't think about this primer because I don't want to uh, declutter my makeup, which is stupid. <laughs> so stupid. This is going. I have used up a ton. I'm so satisfied with that. I'm going to see my friend tomorrow, a few days after, uh, before this is going to upload. Maybe she will take it, maybe she won't. I don't know, but she will have the option. Then on to the empties. The one I am really excited about that you also saw in my April empties. It, it is the body butter from the body shop. It is the glazed apple body butter. I am so excited about having a body butter or body lotion out of my collection or my stash. But I am so incredible sad that it is this one that is no longer available. It's amazing. Yeah, I still haven't gotten around to depart the uh, body lotion that I was talking about a few months back in my panning games. But I will now that I have done this update, I will clean it up. It will be sad because then the smell will disappear most likely. And But I will always have a reminder because of the packaging. But a little silly, but I want to depart the... I, I, it's a big bottle and I don't like the packaging, so I'm just going to depart it into this. The next empty is my lip scrub. I'm so excited about this because I don't like it. <laughs> okay, it, it does its job, but it's not the best lip scrub at all. It is the W7 Jelly Crush Lip Scrub in outrageous orange flavor scent, whatever. It was too creamy, there was too much product and not enough uh, exfoliating scrubby things in it. I wanted to use a lot of product because I wanted more exfoliating bits but it didn't do more if I added more. So it's not my favorite. I will use it up because the, it, it works but not if you have insanely dry lips. This is my Nivea in shower body lotion for normal skin. I love this stuff so much if you are a lazy person like me and don't want to apply body lotion. This is amazing. I use this on my upper half of my body because that does not need a really really hydrating body butter or body lotion. So I use this on my upper half, so my arms, my stomach and so on. And my back because I don't like to put body lotion on my back anymore. Can't reach and it hurts. So. 
I just do it in the shower, which is amazing. So this is my progress. I'm down to here. So I have about half gone. It is a 400 milliliter bottle. I'm excited that I am using it because I have neglected this product for so long. It needs to be used up. The other skincare, no, it's not a skincare product, but it is a beauty product. It is the hand cream from the body shop. It is called Almond Nail and Hand Cream, I believe. It is a brown packaging that broke on me, so I decanned it or depotted it into this small body butter from the butt shop that I cleaned out and stuff. So this is where I am now. So I have a lot left. I'm using this. I have not been that good at using it the past month, but I will get into it again. And I am getting into it again to take a little bit on my finger every single night. So I do use it. And I think my hands is... It's doing well, so I don't need it, but I think it is working so I don't get dry hands, because I will if I don't use it. Okay, I don't want to mark this. This is the Rem London Insta Go Fix and Go 2 in 1 Primer and Setting Spray. I do use this every single day when I apply my makeup, basically. It is so, so filthy and dirty and so gross this is a nice setting spray it is not as fine as i want it to be basically because I, I don't i'm not a setting spray person per se but uh, i really like the thought about it lasting longer so that is why i'm using it and uh, i'm only having i only have this so i'm not in a rush to finish it up or anything i have had it for a lot a long long time a few years to be perfectly honest so this is my nyx jumbo eyeshadow pencil in milk i do use this as a base for my lid shadow you know to make it more opaque to stick and so on sometimes i use it in my outer corner it really depends on my mood that day and how how i do my makeup basically this is where I was last month and this is where I am now. So I am really, really happy about the progress. It is going down, so that is good. I have not used this P2 uh, eyeliner, so I'm not going to show you that one. The one I am using at the moment is my Gosh Velvet Touch Eyeliner in Black Ink. It is this one right here. It is getting so small and I am beginning to have a hard time twisting it around i can grab it and stuff like that but it's getting hard to twist that is where i am right now i am using it today on my upper lash line and i only use it there because my waterline is crap and i don't I, I, it doesn't hold up in my waterline so i use it on my eyelid and then i set it with an eyeshadow basically the next two items is coming from my gwen stefani a face palette which was a collab with MDK. I was working on the highlighter and the bronzer. I will insert a picture so you could see how it was last time and how it was looking overall because it is looking different now. This is how it is looking like right now. This was the highlighter Angel and I did franking that with another highlighter into another compact. I will show you that in a minute. I did deeper the rest of the bronzer and now I have repressed an eyeshadow pigment uh, into that. You will see that in my panning games if you haven't already. Or oh, I talk about it. I haven't repressed it then. So for the highlighter I did not take an uh, after photo when I did I was done repressing. But this is the Franken highlighter that I have right now. I mixed in uh, okay I have it on, maybe it is faded a little bit. But I do have it on. This is the rest of that highlighter. And then I have a small bit of another baked highlighter that is very intense and very uh, pale and white. So I thought it was going to be nice combined with a little bit darker highlighter. For the bronzer, I mixed in a few. I mixed in a small Manakada Duo bronzer eyeshadow. It was a shimmery dark brown it was not insanely dark but it was darker so i thought this lighter bronzer that was left in the Gwen Stefani palette it would repress nicely with that and then i uh, repressed something uh, from a nyx duo uh, you know the dolce delica or something 
I mixed in a top of that into this bronzer. So that is my Frank brown bronzer, the blush bronzer. And it is very nice. It is a little bit dark. I would say that if you're not careful, it will be a little muddy. So I have thought about repressing something else into it so it's not as dark. I do plan on getting a tan very soon so I hopefully can match this up. But I do have a bronzer in my graveyard project pen that went live uh, last week I believe and I have my hula bronzer from Benefit in that and that is what I am using right now. It is matching me, it is looking beautiful so I think I'm going to focus on that and then I will set this on hold. I have used it for a long while before my graveyard project pen started. So let me know if this is cheating. Otherwise I will just add these two into the project. I knew when I made my last update that by this update it will be done. The bones about. Because there was not a lot in it. So I knew if I did repress that from itself it would be done. I have used this for a solid three weeks. And I know for sure that this bronzer would be a, would be done in three weeks. So let me know if I can count this bronzer done or that would be cheating. Because if it's cheating, I will just consider this a part of my project now because I want to finish this as well because then I can say I have finished two bronzers this year. And um, this will be very, very nice when I get a good size tan in the summer, which I plan on. And I'm going to just pan this last bit of the highlighter in this project. So let me know about the bronzer if you think it is cheating or not. It is my project, I know. But I really want you guys' opinion. Otherwise, I'm just going to add these. Not big deal. But I want to know what you guys feel. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And thank you, thank you so much for 1K. I have said it a few times already. But I'm really, really grateful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And want to stick around. It means the world to me. And until my next video, please take care. Bye. Bye.